Yo, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape News coverage video. For this video, we're going to cover a tweet by Mod Ryan that shows off some proposed changes to the deep sea fishing update based on player feedback. So, without any further ado, we're just going to jump right into the video. So, let's go. Alright guys, so like I said, this is based on player feedback. Here's the tweet by Mod Ryan. He says, here's a bunch of deep sea fishing changes based on feedback, information in the image. Plan to get these out into the game next week. Now, I was actually going to talk about this uh, the other day, but I'll talk about why I held off in a moment. But without further ado, he has an image associated with this tweet to show us exactly what, you know, has been changed or will be changed by next week. So we're going to jump into the image here and we can see, I'll just quickly go over each different thing that we're seeing right here bit by bit. So you get an idea of what's happening. So first off, we have here, they've added the fishing icon to all fishing spots. So this is, you know, obviously not anything major. It's not going to change anything in terms of the gameplay, just keeping it in line with other skilling things. So when you mouse over it, you see how he's mousing over the swarm. It'll have that little fishing icon. So, you know, obviously it's not one of those things that's game changing by any stretch, but it's just, you know, to keep it in line with the rest of other things in the game. Also, they have removed the use option on the rowboat that lets you leave the area so you can see here the left click will now be bank and then you have collect and leave and now those are your options this will just make it easier seeing as you know the use option was pretty much you know unnecessary it just opened up another little window where you had to choose whether you wanted to bank or leave whatever so just removing that is nice you know now it becomes a left click bank so i'm sure a lot of people are gonna be happy about that one next up they've added a bang ladder option to the ladder <laughs> which uh this is allow you to get old groggy's attention he's the one that's staying on top of the tower where you gotta return his ring if you happen to get it while fishing so you'll be able to get his attention by that simple left click on that ladder so i guess you know it's just one of those things that makes it a little bit easier to you know turn in that ring and get that achievement out of the way nothing really major but so you know it's I guess people wanted it, so here it is. Nice little feedback. Next up is probably the biggest, most controversial one. Here, you can see the blue blubber jellyfish is being nerfed to 750 HP heal instead of 1000. This is actually a big nerf because that means all three bites are going to be 2250 HP total, making that inventory slot less than a rock tail which i'm not really going to get into whole detail about this because i'm of the camp that this should not be nerfed it doesn't make sense some people may argue it's op i don't think it is at all and it has not lived in the meta long enough to suggest that it needs to be nerfed in my personal opinion you may think otherwise but that's just how i feel so the reason why i held off on this video an extra day is because Mod Ryan did get a lot of feedback from players on Reddit, etc., saying that they did not want the nerf and shared the same sentiment. They felt that it was fine as is, and supposedly today they were talking about this, whether or not they should nerf it, and I wanted to wait and see if we got any new information. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new information, so it's possible that this is still getting a nerf but they did discuss it amongst their team to decide whether they do want to go ahead with the nerf or not i guess we're gonna have to wait till monday to find out until then you know enjoy the jellyfish while they are as is next up they've added a calorie bomb for sailfish this is the invention thing where you can pop off the calorie bomb and it heals everyone around you as well as npcs etc i don't know how particularly useful these are don't know anybody who really uses them but i guess for the consistency's sake they've added for sailfish so that's good anybody who happens to use these kinds of things in their pvm adventures i guess they'll be happy to have access to the sailfish with the calorie bomb so yeah it is what it is next up they've also added the ability to receive prawn balls from all the fishing activities within deep sea fishing seems like it would have been a given but apparently that was not available on release or isn't even available now but we're gonna have to wait until monday so you'll be able to start collecting those prawn balls once again so i'm sure you guys are going to be happy to see that another good update coming to deep sea fishing they've also added not shown on screen but grief prevention checks this means that players will not be able to place cannons down to disrupt other players in the fishing areas. Other things that obstruct your clicking ability, those things are going to no longer be available or, you know, people won't be able to do those kinds of things 
within any of the docks on deep sea fishing. So that's actually good, just preventing uh, you know those players who choose to be an annoyance to others. So I'm all for it. Next up, they've altered the message in a bottle item so that it will now give you an option of which kind of boost you want to choose. So you can see here, it works identical to the one that you actually get from the Gold Premier Club. However, it doesn't last as long, but you know it functions the same way where you get a message in a bottle and you'll be able to select any one of those three boosting options which is all cool, just more usability for the player. So I can't be mad at that. And finally, I just want to add on, this is not confirmed to actually come with these updates, but this is actually a proposed change that Mod Ryan suggested with regards to the fishing frenzy and the way it's going to behave. So his proposition is that during any play session, you'll be able to build your streak like you normally would. So if at any point you'd stop fishing, then your streak will be cut in half. It's going to stay that amount until you either log out to which it would reset, or you could start fishing again. When you start fishing again, it will continue from this now have streak. So if you stop, it'll be halved once more. Basically, this will allow you to take breaks much more often. You can take part in the events and you won't feel like you lose your entire streak, or at least you won't feel so punished for doing so. I think this is actually a pretty good change overall, making it a little less punishing and encourages people to possibly partake in the events if they are doing Fishing Frenzy. Let me know what you guys think about that proposed change. Again, I don't think that particular one is coming with the rest of the other ones I mentioned, but it's something worth mentioning so that you guys know about it. Anyways, that wraps it up for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I am out. Peace.